Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I, I'm, I'm compelled to uh, issue a warning to all of the religious people. I'm very, very concerned. I'm, I fear for your lives. I fear for your eternal life. Well, you might first wonder, what do I mean by the religious people? Um, what is religious? What is religion? Really, religion, it doesn't matter which one. They're all really the same. All religions are based on the idea that there's a, a, a system of, of things that man is required to do in order to earn approval or acceptance from God. Laws or commandments or rituals, ordinances, a list of things, a list of do's and a list of don'ts. That's what religion is, do, do, do. And you might say, well, Christianity is a religion. It's not. Not the kind of Christianity we find in the Bible. The kind of Christianity you find in Roman Catholicism is religion. The kind of Christianity you find in many churches all over America is religion because they are telling you that you've got to get water baptized or you've got to confess and you've got to repent and you've got to change your life. And they're telling you there are things you've got to do to make yourself acceptable before God can forgive you or save you. Or after, afterwards, things you've got to do to show proof that you're really a Christian. Well, whether they're requiring you to do things before or they're requiring you to do things after your conversion. It's a legalistic system of religious works, and that's what religion is. And that the reason it's not Christianity, because in the Bible, when you studied the Bible, it's very easy to see that Christianity, and I'm saying Christianity because I want Christ emphasized, because in real biblical Christianity, it's not about what we do. It's about what Jesus has done. And what did he do? He lived a perfect, sinless life. When we put our faith in Jesus as our Savior, when we rely completely on him, his perfect, sinless life accredited it to us. That's the only righteousness that we can have. Our own righteousness is like filthy rags in the sight of God. That's what the Bible says. But when we put our faith in Jesus, we get his righteousness, which is perfect. And he suffered and died on the cross and bled. The shedding of his blood and his death served as a full payment for all of our sins. There's nothing you could do to get rid of all your old sins. And if you think that you could start, stop sitting today for the rest of your life, and that would be acceptable. First of all, it's impossible. You, you couldn't do it. That's what the Bible says. It's impossible. And uh, even if you could, what about all your old sins? But in Christianity, the Bible says Jesus paid for all of our sins. So we have no sins because he took them. He suffered for our sins. He died for our sins. So in biblical Christianity, it's not about what we do. It's about what Jesus has done for us. And when he's on that cross dying, he says, it is finished. It's accomplished. He's done everything that's needed so you and I and the whole world can be saved, can have eternal life, and have heaven. But the, the problem that all the religious people in the world have, even people who think of themselves as Christian, but are not biblical Christians, 
These people, they say they believe in Jesus. They even say he died for their sins and he rose from the dead on the third day. And yet, if you ask them, are you certain you're going to go to heaven? And if so, why? If God asked you, why should I let you into heaven? What would you plead to God? Almost everybody pleads. Well, I, I try to be a good person. And, and I, I've repented of my sins. And I follow the Ten Commandments. Follow the Golden Rule. I, 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 I. If your plea has I in it, then it's not the plea that God will accept. The only plea at the judgment that God can accept is Jesus is my Savior. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to heaven. I, I will get eternal life only because of what Jesus has done for me and his promise of eternal life to me. It's all about Jesus. That way he gets all the credit, all the glory, no credit and glory for ourselves because we contribute nothing to it. But what happens if you are a religious person that believes that this faith in Jesus, relying on what he's done for you is not enough, that you've also got to do your part and contribute to your salvation, do your religious works in order to be acceptable to God, in order to be saved. If that's what you believe, then you've taken the blood of Jesus Christ and you've poisoned it by, by adding your religious works. The Bible says the, the, the best of man is like the best works of man. Think of the best person you've ever you can imagine. The Bible says that very best of man is like filthy rags in the sight of God. So you're taking your filthiness and mixing it with the blood of Jesus Christ. You're poisoning the blood of Jesus that was shed for you. So the result is blood poisoning. That's why you will die the second death. The Bible says that it's appointed for man once to die and then the judgment. When you go to that judgment, if you have not already put your faith in Jesus Christ completely, if you still have, if you had put your some faith in your own religious works, then you'll go to the judgment condemned. And because you poisoned the blood of Jesus by mixing your works with it, you will die a second time. The Bible calls it the second death in the lake of fire. So that's why I'm making this video now. A warning to all the religious people. Discard that religion. Leave it behind. Instead, rely completely on on Jesus instead of yourself. Believe he really did do it all for me. And that, that way he gets all the glory. All right. I hope this sinks in. I hope you understand. And I hope you reject the idea that your righteousness can contribute to your salvation. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.